What do you guys got going on? We just had our butterfly come out of its chrysalis. Out of its what? <laughs> Here's their butterfly. Hey. So you, you said it's a girl? Yep, because the boys have two spots on their inner wings. Two spots. Okay, let's take a look if she opens up. Open up. Where are the spots supposed to be? The they're supposed to open up their inner wings. So and it should be This one just hasn't opened up its wings enough yet? No, it hasn't. So we don't know if it's a girl. It looks like it's a girl. What's that plan? What's that plan? No, he's climbing onto the it's climbing onto the, mar it's climbing onto the merry go. What's that plan? Welcome to Turdy Dairy. We're at Grandma's house. <laughs> So what are we doing at Grandma's house? Trim Papa's toe with my horse. <laughs> Trim Papa's toe. <laughs> this is Grandma's garden. Does it look good? What's your favorite vegetable? Uh, corn. Corn? Does she have corn planted? Where is it? Look at the flowers. And these are and these are potatoes. Do you like potatoes? Yep. Not really tomatoes. Yeah, go stand in the corner. We can see how tall it is. No, you gotta go farther back. Look at that. It's almost as tall as you. Almost oh, ready to grow a cob. <laughs> it's ready to grow a cob. It's got dill and onions, beet. Cucumbers to go up a trellis. Oh lordy, you're kind of waddling over here. Hey girls. Just chilling in the shade. Here's a safety thing that I've never seen anybody address on the YouTube before, but if your line comes through here, if your, your horse is hooked to the cross line, gets ahead of you or something stumbles, this will get stuck in there and you can't pull it back through. So oh, let's do that ring? Yeah, it'll get stuck and then you're pulling against that when you're pulling on the lines. So what I do, is I put a couple of rings on there. And then it can't come through. Then it doesn't get stuck. That's, I've got that on some lines and then on other lines. I just use a uh, rubber bit guard you can buy anywhere at a tax shop for a couple bucks a pair, three bucks a pair. And that, that just keeps that buckle from going through the hay ring and getting stuck in there. And if you get if you get it stuck in there, you lose control of that. Neighbor over here, he had that happen last year when he was breaking a young horse. The horse stopped for some reason, the old horse kept going, pulled that through. Next thing the race was on. Hmm. So. Anyway, just a little safety tip that I do that I've never seen anybody talk about before, so. Anyway, I'll get her on harness and we'll put her in the shop.
Now, did you buy this chewing stock, or is yep. it like a homemade thing? Well, it's actually homemade, but I bought it. Actually, guy made it. And I, he made a few of them. I'm not sure how many he made. But. One thing I like about this is if the horse gets stuck, you take whatever you need to hit them, you know, come undone. Because if the horse would go down and get tight, just on a hook, you can never get it unhooked. But you just hit these and they pop right out. I've never had to do it, but nice to know it's there. How long have you been trimming horses here? Forever. <laughs> Did you learn from your dad or from someone else or? Just trial and error. I always strap them back so they can't get their back feet too far forward. Get their butt down below this bar and if they ever did that, you'd be stuck. If they were hanging on here and had their butt below the bar, you probably couldn't get either one of them out. And another thing, when Alan was about Josh's size, he was standing and holding a flashlight for me and one almost cow kicked him. Somebody else's horse. So they're just a safety thing. They march you out. I've ever actually seen you do this. Yeah. Yeah. No, Alan was pretty good when we got this. He's been around a long time. How often do you trim them? She's kind of flat footed. She needs it more often than the other ones. I don't know, it's probably, I suppose it's been six weeks now. Stub and Stony, I, I didn't trim them that often because they had such good feet. I've seen a lot of shoeing stocks. I think this is about the slickest one I've ever seen. for draft horses for trimming feet? No, she picks up her feet real good, but it's just easier on me. I know there's a lot of fairies that they don't want to do draft horses. Yeah. Katie's patiently waiting and trimming. 
Yeah, they tell you she got one stuck in her mouth one day? No. I came home from the farm and Debbie said that dog's choking on something. So I grabbed her and she had one and then she had a chew and it was just like, it was just like a Y bone almost huh. stuck in her mouth. So what does that mean that she's flat footed? She got flat feet. But I mean, I guess, I don't know what a flat foot looks like on a horse she compared to a regular one. I'll show you in the front, the front is especially bad. watching an episode of Meat Eater and they were down in I think it was like Hawaii or something and the guy had a knife that was made from an old horse file it was really neat Yeah, that is really cool. Here's a meat rack. See, she has no angle right here. Her foot comes right down flat. She doesn't really have a good heel. Oh, so like it should be like more like. Yeah, she should be standing up a little more. Oh, okay. She tends to have a lot of flare, which. I don't like, but it's there. When I first bought her, this was wide open here. This was a wide open crack and she had flare about out to here. And I was talking to an Amish guy and he told me to trim this down from here to there. So she walks on this part. And it's been a little over a year now and it's really pretty much grown in. It was a probably a good quarter inch crack there. Yeah, you can still see like the last little yeah. bit there. Yeah, so I got to keep this flared on. She had flare probably out a good inch, inch and a half. Oh. And it just causes so much stress that it breaks away. He told me he could put shoes on, whatever, but he said this will work just as well. It just takes longer. You see, like here, she's not making contact on the ground here with this part. Yep. There's
Thanks to my quality tools, I've had this rasp for, I bet, 40 years. Although I don't do a ton of horses anymore, but at one time we did a lot. Put that rope on so I can steer that foot where I want it because otherwise it would go right toward in the, under, right under the middle of her. This way I can pull it off to this side. You always take that crank out because if something would happen that would come undone and they spin that, that thing, I've had to hit the ceiling. So. So have you shooed your horses or do you have someone do that? I've never, I've never shod. I guess years ago I had a phone in there. I had an Amish guy shoe, but I've never, I don't put shoes on them. Any particular reason you don't sh shoe them? Because it's a lot of work and it's a lot, if you have somebody else who it's a lot of money and I have them to save money, not make money, so. Once in a while in the winter, it'd be nice to have shoes on them, but if it's that slippery, I just don't use them.
Ooh, yeah, those flies got you good, didn't they, girl? Just a few little blood spots. Really? Yeah. Make sure everything's done. Legs are snap, these off. No, no. These are tied. All right, about two weeks ago, he came in for feed one day, and then they came in for feed, he wouldn't eat. Took his temp, it was about 105. Took him to the vet, tested him for all the tick-borne diseases, tested negative. Treated him with some antibiotic, I can't remember what it was. Didn't get better. Treated him with uh, oxytetracycline, IV'd later, the next day just in case it was a tick-borne disease, didn't get better. Treated him with sulfa, injectable, still didn't get better. And so he ran a fever for eight days and uh, so all of a sudden one day he was just better and we kind of surmised that maybe it was uh, just some virus that he had that the antibiotics couldn't touch and he just had to work his way through it. So he's lost a lot of weight because he just picked a little grass for eight days before he, now he's back up on feet again, but I really like him. He's got a really good personality. And uh, so that's why he looks, doesn't look quite as sharp as he did when he was younger, but he was sick for eight days straight, been eating grain, so. But now he's back to kicking up his heels and running around and feeling good again. So that's just an update on him.